Okay, this will be the four quarter, Felix. If uh, if you can do a hind quarter and a four quarter, that's half a cow. So all you got to do is the other side. You'll be able to tear it up. So you go to your four quarter, and you find the very first bone in the chest, and you go one, two, three, four, five. You break a four quarter in between the fifth and the sixth rib. All the way over. Come on, this side. This will be your brisket. And you gotta go back for your rib. Here we go. You still need all just the same tools, but uh, we're gonna peel out the front arm and the chuck shoulder clawed. So, you come over here and you run your boning knife down the deckle. And then this elbow joint, come on the inside, scoop around it, and scoop that chunk of meat out. It's a giant S right there. Then you go underneath and you take that all the way up to the joint. Now, there's a little white spot right here. This is the start of your claw. That's the start of your brisket. You make a little triangle right there, and I'll show you how to use that for later. Then come over here to the edge of the bone inside your chuck, and you go right where it starts, and you can ride that all the way down. And I'm at the ball joint back here for the shoulder and the chuck. You just grab this flap, Peel out. Be careful you don't go into the brisket right here when you're trying to peel this. And this is just another big seaming operation that you're doing right now. Okay, you should be able to get there, there's that ball joint. You want to go in between the ball joint and the other side. That opens it up and cuts that tendon. Get up in there. Now, I'm going to take the claw off of the arm right here. So you start at the ball joint, go in, ride that bone, and here's that S that we made earlier. We, that, we did that for a reason, to be able to make it easy right there. Follow that bone, hit the top side, and you will meet that undercut that you did on the front leg. Be real careful with this because if you're not, you're not like practice at it, you can totally write off this bone and just stab yourself right in the knee or the leg or somewhere else. So grab one of the tendons back here you're gonna loose the whole shoulder, and then you're gonna cut around that bone. There, you got your full front arm with the claw. There's our chuck shoulder claw. Rawest form. Okay. Here's your brisket. We'll pull that off. I always like to go around to the front side. It just makes it an easier pull if you just ride that chest bone down. And then on the other side of that triangle that I told you earlier, that starts your brisket. Follow it all up, and with that cut that I made on the other side, you should be able to just pull that bad boy right on out. Follow it down. Brisket, flat, round, point. The reason I made that little triangle cut is because there's a lot of fat on your chuck short ribs. 
if you grab that triangle, this is just making it easier so you don't have to do more work on the block. You can peel a lot of that fat that's on your chuck short ribs off before you even get them to the block. Okay, we're gonna drop the chuck. So you go back here to your original cut. Okay, there's that. Grab the rim. Okay, how you break your chuck? King Monk saw. <laughs> I like to go from right on this side where it stops and kind of follow that bone along. Bone in chuck. We'll get your chuck short ribs. separate the rib and then we'll take our plate ribs. So when you separate your rib, I like to make sure that I go just below the eye and then meet up here. If you're going to give the people beef ribs, you got to go a little bit lower. These people don't want beef ribs. Move that to the side. For your plate ribs, you count one, two, three, and go to the furthest side of the meat, right before that fourth bone. Ride her down. And there's your plate ribs. The only thing left to do is chine your rib. And that's it, Felix. Besides boning and doing hamburger and stuff, which is something that you're going to have to just go through and figure out. It's a lot of work, but it can be done quickly when you practice it. That's the side of beef. Broke.